Hello, in this work we present a data-driven approach to learning low-dimensional faithful dynamics for controlling nonlinear robots with high degrees of freedom. Highly articulated robots have huge potential in revolutionizing the field of robotics due to the versatility brought forth by their high degrees of freedom. Unfortunately, modeling and control of these robots remains challenging since they are infinite dimensional in nature and accurate models of them typically result in intractably high dimensional systems. The question is, how do we come up with low dimensional surrogates that are tractable for online computation, but accurate enough for closed loop control. Several approaches have been proposed in literature to address these challenges, such as projection and learning-based methods. In projection-based methods, one seeks to find a subspace that approximates the dominant behaviors of the system and to project the high dimensional governing equations down to that subspace as shown in the left figure. The equation-free approaches attempt to learn the dynamics of the system from observed state transitions. Popular approaches include learning finite dimensional approximations of the Koopman operator or learning the dynamics of the system using a neural network. Common drawbacks with these approaches is that most are unable to tractably bridge the gap between having accurate but low dimensional models and they generally do not preserve structure and the dynamics resulting in models that do not generalize to tasks outside their training set. In this work, we leverage recent results in invariant manifold theory to find low dimensional models which faithfully capture the physics of our system. This allows us to obtain high fidelity reduced order models for control. We formulate an optimal control problem in which we attempt to control a system to follow a dynamic trajectory subject to output and input constraints. We stress that solving this optimal control problem is intractable due to the extreme high dimensionality of the dynamics, which can range from tens of thousands to millions of states. In linear systems, we know that by superposition, we can decompose the trajectory into components projected along the eigenspaces of A. To come up with a reduced model, we simply project along the slowest eigenspaces corresponding to the slowest modes and try to understand the trajectory of the full system along these modes. These subspaces are exponentially attracting and the trajectory remains in them for all time. We denote a hierarchy of these subspaces as a spectral subspace. Is there a dual notion of these attracting slow subspaces for nonlinear systems? Well. Under non-resonance conditions on A, it turns out that there exists attracting slow manifolds tangent to a spectral subspace, which nonlinearly extends its invariance. The unique smoothest manifold attached to a spectral subspace is known as a spectral submanifold. Since the dynamics on low dimensional SSMs can capture highly nonlinear phenomenon, we specifically target these manifolds to extract reduced dynamics. In this work, we extract low dimensional dynamics on SSMs from observation data and learn the effect of the input and reduce coordinates. While the controlled trajectories are no longer invariant on the manifold, we demonstrate that the predictive power of SSM reduced models coupled with an MPC framework results in state of the art performance on a high dimensional system. We extract these low dimensional dynamics using a three step data driven procedure as outlined in the following slides. In step one, we collect trajectories of the robot as it decays towards its equilibrium point. Notice that the robot exhibits an initial transient onto the manifold. Having identified this transient, we truncate it out of the data set to ensure that the training trajectories are as close as possible to the invariant manifold. Next, we conduct principal component analysis to determine the basis of the spectral subspace to which the SSM is tangent. Indeed, for weak nonlinearities, PCA is a reliable approximation of the spectral subspace. Using the properties of the SSM, we can formulate a regression procedure to find the parametrization of the manifold mappings and the reduced dynamics. We seek a pair of maps that go from the reduced to observed coordinates and vice versa, and by the smoothness of the SSM, we can approximate the SSM parametrization by Taylor expansion.
Given the properties of the SSM, we can then carry out polynomial regression to find the coefficients of the parametrization and the reduced autonomous dynamics. Finally, we learn the effect of actuation in the reduced coordinates by exploring the robot's actuation space. We then formulate a regression problem to find the control matrix which best explains how the autonomous SSM is translated under the influence of control. This gives us the SSMR controlled dynamics shown in the bottom right. We now approximate the original high dimensional OCP using the manifold mappings and the reduced dynamics. Since the dimension of the reduced dynamics is drastically less than the original dynamics, the approximated OCP is now computationally tractable. Furthermore, we use sequential convex programming to solve the nonlinear program in a receding horizon fashion. In the following slides, we report the results of our approach for tracking two quasi-static trajectories and one near-resonant trajectory, benchmarked against two state-of-the-art methods, namely the Koopman operator and the trajectory piecewise linear approach. Note that the dimensionality of our model is drastically less than our benchmarks, emphasizing its practicality for real-time optimization. In this experiment, we consider a figure eight in the xy plane subject to constraints in the y direction. Note that our six-dimensional model achieves comparable performance with its larger dimensional counterparts. We observe similar relative tracking performance when considering a quasi-static circle in the yz plane. Note that for this trajectory, deviations in the x direction are penalized. Interestingly, for the more challenging near resonant circle trajectory, SSMR completely outperforms the other approaches, highlighting its superior generalizability. Furthermore, when we remove the penalty on deviations along the x-axis, we find that our SSMR-based model is the only one that results in a control strategy that resonates with the dominant mode. Thus, not only does SSMR outperform the state of the art in terms of generalizability, it also preserves important structure in the dynamics which can then be exploited later by the controller. In conclusion, we presented a new approach for learning low-dimensional control dynamics on SSMs for high-dimensional robots. While fully data-driven, we incorporate inductive bias in our learning procedure by targeting the dynamics on these generic structures. It turns out that the inductive biases imposed by SSMs are highly useful for control, since they offer low dimensionality, generalizability, and exploitable structure for control. This allows us to overcome common drawbacks associated with data-driven approaches, allowing SSMR to outperform the state of the art. Our code is open source and is freely available on GitHub. Thanks for your attention and make sure to stop by our poster. See you in London.